Who knew there was a Starbucks at Krakow? We're all one big wrong planet now. All righty. <clears throat> Good morning, I'm Dan Mason. Here's a look at the news for this Saturday. This looks good. Mercedes-Benz has produced a brand new electric vehicle concept car called the Mercedes Mach, May, excuse me, the Mercedes Maybach 6 Cabriolet. Uh, the vehicle sports a 750 horsepower engine. It has a range of 200 miles and the battery system is stored under the floor. It gives you more room. Uh, the hood opens up like divided wings of a bird. Uh, the vehicle features two custom-made suitcases specifically designed to fit under the hood in the area of the automobile. Hopefully your clothes fit into the space of a trombone case. The uh, vehicle has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. It is said to go from zero to six in just under four seconds. Now, mind you, uh, this is nothing more than a concept vehicle. The likelihood of this ever hitting the streets is, is not going to happen. And at 20 feet long, uh, the likelihood of you finding a decent parking space at Walmart are about nil. All right, leave it to a guy from New Jersey. Terrence Naffy and his family were en route to Cape May when they were caught on a bridge making their way from Wildwood to Cape May. Uh, they were in the middle of the thoroughfare bridge when shortly after making their payment to cross the bridge, um, they noticed that the, the bridge was starting to lift, lift about three to six feet in the air. And Terrence, knowing that it would have been perpendicular in just a few moments, made the decision for his entire family and he gunned the gas and flew through the air and crossed over the bridge and landed safely on the other side. Yes, there was some minor damage to the undercarriage, but the family was safe. Authorities figured out that the bridge employee in control didn't see the car due to some sun glare. Uh, what an awesome dad. Now, uh, unfortunately, there's no word on whether or not he's receiving a refund. So, um, let's see. Oh, this is going to be fun on levels I can't even explain. Um, the solar eclipse that's going to be taking place this Monday has a predicted 7.4 million Americans on the road this weekend uh, to get to where they want to see the moon, overshadow the sun. Uh, traffic in Oregon, where this whole path starts, is already almost at a complete standstill as of Friday afternoon. Vehicles are moving about four or five miles an hour. Uh, yeah, I got one word for you. Staycation. All right, now, as you know, the Powerball for this Saturday uh, is an estimated five, uh, $535 million, or roughly $250 million after taxes. Uh, that is if you take it to one big chunk. Now, the chances of you winning are, you know, about nil, zero. Uh, figure you paid $2 for the ticket. Uh, your chances of winning all five numbers plus the Powerball are 1 in 290,221,338. It's kind of a big number. Uh, a couple of things to remember. Now, the bigger the jackpot, the more likely your chances are that you have to share that prize with other people because everybody's getting on board. Um, also, plus statistics show that people who do win large sums of money uh, typically become ostracized by their families. Now, I don't want any of this to happen to you. So if, if you want, what you can do is you can send me a large check contribution to a new organization I started uh, to help those of you who have won. It's called Can't Ask for Santa's Help. So now, that, instead of writing out Can't Ask for Santa's Help, just write the acronym, C-A-S-H, P.O. Box 9022, Fredericksburg, Virginia, 22403, and I'll take it from there. All right, last story. Poland Spring is being sued once again. The company that brings you the cool, crisp flavors of Maine is being sued in a class action suit with allegations as such that the water does not come from the actual Poland Spring spring. Uh, the company defended itself by saying Poland Spring water is 100% spring water and meets the U.S. Food and Drug Administration regulations defining spring water. Now, this is not the first time that they've had some controversy. Back in uh, June 2003, Poland Spring was sued uh, for the same thing, and, and that was the parent company, Nestle, defended the right to call it Poland Spring Natural Spring Water, even though it's very likely it is nothing more than common groundwater, heavily treated. Now, when I mean heavily treated, 
the water is believed to come from a site that is sitting over a former trash dump, refuse dump, and uh, where waste, human waste, was sprayed as fertilizer for several years. So you keep on drinking that water. I'll, I'll just keep drinking the stuff coming out of my Brita filter. All right, well, that's the news for today, August 19th. I'm Dan Mason. This is Fuchsia. It is not pink. Uh, please be sure to share, uh, subscribe. Make sure you do that so I can continue to know you guys want these. Otherwise, I don't know what you're doing there. Uh, remember, no Sunday news. Hopefully, we'll see you Monday. Bye, y'all.